All right, hello everyone. This is a quick rundown on how my game works, Pet Shop Simulator. So I'll just give a rundown on how the game works. The game is a VR is a VR game, as you can see. Uh, these are your controllers here. So I'm using the Oculus Rift S controllers. There are a bunch of different other VR headsets, but right, I'm using the Oculus Rift S, which is this one. Every controller has their own unique controller scheme, but pretty much all of the functions are the same. So in this game, your goal is to give these kind of items to these animals that come in. And you need to give them what they want. And in order to see what they want, you have a speech bubble over their head. So the controls are very simple. You move your arms with the controller. And to grab them, you use their, the two grip controllers. You can, either, you can use either one of them, like the one bottom here or the one over here. So if I use my bottom grip, it will throw the ball. I will hold the grip ball and you can throw it around. And if you want to know what happens if you throw the ball off screen, it will respawn. Uh, you can also grab it with um, the trigger button. You can do the same thing here. If you throw it out of bounds, it will respawn eventually here. But as you can see, I'm going to restart the game and see how it shows out of place. So as you can see, the dog is asking for a ball. And you can grab the ball and you throw it at him. And with that, you get 100 points. Another, another animal will come in. Right now, it's currently either a dog or a cat. And it's asking for the same thing. But as you can see, that green circle over there is the, is the customer timer. If that goes all the way, that means it times it up and you'll get angry and run away. So in order to go with this game, you will need to get a certain amount of points before the time runs out. And if you miss your opportunity, you waste time. So the cat here is asking for a can. He'll go off on its own. This time it's a dog again. So the difference between the dogs and the cats, dogs and cats will ask for something different. Like for example here, we got a dog biscuit and a, and a fish. Dogs, um, only dogs will ask for the bone and only cats will ask for the fish. While the ball and the can, they could both of them could either ask for them. The reason why I did this because I want to have the animals have a more unique experience and you have an idea on what they want. And that, we've got 500 points, you've got confetti flying in the air. And this is currently the um, menu, a point and click menu. You can use triggers to select, point and select what, what you want to do. So if, if I point and click restart the game, they will restart the game right back. That's pretty much all I have to say right now because the control scheme is really simple. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really require that much intuitive controls other than just moving your hands and just throwing things at the right time. So yeah, right now this is the current build, and that's what I can say right now.